Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Hadoop World in New York. I'm here with Clark Patterson. Clark, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me today. Sure. So you're with Cloudera. Yep. And you're an architect or what? I actually run the product marketing team at Cloudera. Okay. Yep. And so with that, what is new from Cloudera that we should know from your, your product groups? Yeah, so three big announcements for us uh, this week. One was uh, kind of pre-announced before the conference. Um, first is all around Spark. So we've created an initiative called the One Platform. And the goal there is really to, uh, to, sh to help the market understand the role of Spark relative to Hadoop and the fact that there's, um, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very central part of the, the stack. And if we focus on things like uh, security and scale and, and the, the, these types of things, the adoption of Spark within Hadoop itself will uh, will accelerate and the market as a whole will be able to adopt it a whole lot quicker. So the first one is one platform? Yep, one okay. platform. And we, we formally announced that about two weeks ago. Um, the other two big announcements for this week in particular, uh, one's around the storage layer and the other's around security. So we uh, announced a new open source project called Kudu, which yep. is essentially a uh, what we call a, a storage solution for uh, fast analytics on fast data. So data that's arriving really quickly, we want to be able to do some sort of analytics on it. It allows us to do updates in Hadoop, which we weren't able to do before in a very rapid fashion. Um, Complements both HDFS and HBase, and really fills a gap for um, a lot of real-time oriented applications. Um, so it's great kind of new innovation around the storage area, which we haven't seen in Hadoop in a very, very long time. Um, the second one in the security area is another open source project called Record Service. And what we're going for here is a unification of security services down within the stack itself, so that um, regardless of how we're interacting with data, we know that we can define, implement, manage security policies in a consistent way, and it helps the uh, the threat vectors coming into the uh, into the cluster be managed a lot easier. Is, is that one of the features that's been uh, requested the most in the last few years, security? It's So it's a changing dynamic for sure. Um, if you look, so I've been with the company for two years, and um, when I first started, uh, you know, if you were to do a, a poll or a questionnaire or something, security was there, but it wasn't necessarily you know percolating to the top. Um, fast forward to today, uh, certainly, um, I, and I think it, it, it's it comes part and parcel with the types of things that customers are doing with with uh, with Hadoop, going uh, away from just cheap and deep storage to much more analytics. Um, and as they do so, the need for security um, really starts to rise to the top. So it's, you know, it, depending on the organization, things that are highly regulated perhaps, security is of paramount importance, but across all industries, there's absolutely a trend where it's starting to shift to be the, uh, towards the top of the, uh, the executive's concerns. Yeah, I think people are understanding that data is an asset and exposing it can do a lot of harmful things. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And yeah. there's yeah, there's there's a lot of twists and turns here. There's um, you know, exposing personal information about individuals and all the, the ramifications that that has. Um, there's an ethical aspect of it as well, right? Like, yeah. just because we have all this information, yeah. does it mean we should be doing something about it? Yeah. Um, so, you know, security plays a very central role in helping us uh, alleviate a lot of those problems. Excellent. So, what's on your roadmap going forward? Uh, what, what do you guys uh, see coming out? Yeah, know? so, I mean, I think uh, cloud will be very interesting. Um, you know, we've We've got cloud in our name, right? So we should be thinking about uh, how to actually uh, make that uh, much more of our, um, uh, our our strategy moving forward. Not that we haven't had it before, but we have uh, new announcements with, with Amazon, with uh, Microsoft, where companies are starting to look for the deployment option of Hadoop in the cloud. So we're doing a lot of things on that particular front. That's a really, really big one. Excellent. Um, and then just kind of hardening the core itself. Uh, we see a lot of organizations that are shifting away from hey, I want all the new shiny projects that are being bolted on top of Hadoop to how can you solidify this, 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 this core of this whole stack and, and do it in such a way that we can start to really shift it into production. Um, a lot of our big enterprise customers have been in production for a very long time and the, the quicker we can drive stability down into, uh, into the cluster and into our distribution, it's, it's going to be for everyone's benefit. So how much activity do you guys have in, in interaction with open source communities? Do you work closely with them or? Very much so, yeah. I mean, it, it's, uh, it's our origins obviously are in the open source uh, world. And we have what we call a, a hybrid open source model for our company where um, essentially everything that, it, that has to do with ingestion, storage, uh, and, and kind of consumption of data is the easiest, this is how I think about it at least, is all open source tech. So if we want to secure it, if we want to put it in the, in the cluster, we want to get it in there, we want to get it out. Um, that's all Apache open source uh, development that we do. It's a large, large focus for us. Um, where we add value and where we get into the hybrid component to it is all around management operations. Um, we extend security through encryption and key management. Um, and then uh, uh, governance and, and lineage and things like that comes in, in some of our uh, tools like Cloudera Manager, 
um, from the you know, deployment and ongoing operations, Clutter and Navigator from a governance standpoint. Uh, we have a tool called Clutter Director that allows us to uh, manipulate uh, uh, clusters of the cloud. Um, so that's, that's the delineation. So it seems like security and security uh, components of a, of a platform would be really ripe for open source. You know, it almost seems like counterintuitive, like right. if you expose it to everyone, then it's not really secure. Right. But actually if you expose it to everyone, they can all test it, improve it, and make it more yep. Uh, hardened? Yep. Is that what you guys? Uh, yeah, and it, so that's exactly the spirit of Apache Sentry, right? Which is a, you know, the, the kind of a very standard security component um, that uh, is, is community-led, community-developed, and we put that in our distribution. Um, the record service announcement that we have this week, uh, very much a complement to that. Also why we're pushing it into open source as well. And you know, like, like all community-led innovation in this particular, uh, this, this world that we live in, um, we see the, you know, the, the gains that it can have collectively using not only us, but you know, community, um, our partners, our competitors sometimes, you know, it's the way this, this world behaves, um, can, can accelerate it a whole lot faster and everyone benefits. Coopetition type thing, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you fast forward, and we're going to have this conversation again next year at this time, yeah, in New York, where do you think Cloudera will be going at that time? Um, boy, the I always like to like make a sports prediction that's, in this type a, of scenario. It's, it's right? a long time away too. Then you, you, yeah. get, you make your like lofty sports prediction <laughs> for your team of favorite, and then if it comes true, you're great. Yeah, um, but I'll, I'll hold off on that this time. Um, you know, I think the the. The, the conversation for Cloudera is going to be much more around the business value side of things. Um, so if you kind of you, you take the, the, the technology aspect of it, there's a, a noticeable shift in organizations that are looking for how can I leverage this platform to drive transformative uh, effect for my organization. Um, we had the Data Impact Awards a couple nights ago. Um, a fabulous story by an organization called Thorn that is doing, um, they're, they're trying to combat um, child trafficking. You know, yeah. and it's just a, it's an yep. excellent example of social impact that this platform is driving. So it's not just about uh, efficiencies and cost savings, it's much more around, hey, how can we you know, know more about our customers? How can we have a social impact and all these types of things? So, um, you know, being led by our customers largely, but us kind of also identifying where the market's going. People are looking for um, an understanding of how they can get uh, time to value a whole lot quicker. And so how can we be more prescriptive and give them blueprints for how to uh, use this technology in different ways, but then also tie that to really interesting, meaningful business impact. Um, I think, you know, if you look at this conference 12 months from now, I would anticipate that we're going to see a whole lot more uh, very interesting, high impact stories that are, uh, that are, you know, we can all relate to in terms of how we interact in our jobs and how we go about our, our, our lives. Um, and the conversation will be less about the technology underneath it. So creating better value. Exactly. Yep. yep. Clark, so it's an ongoing pursuit, of course. We look forward to that conversation next year here in New York. Excellent. Look Thank forward you. to it as well. Thank you.